Okay, so the game crashed. I'm, I'm hoping I'm right back where... Uh, their own ends. Okay, I'm not exactly where I was, but... To protect such a powerful tool. Assemble them in secret and dispatch Can I them across the choke this guy out? Can I... ...in the fight against the supernatural? Oh, God. Uh... <sighs> You're gonna come in here, or are you gonna sit over there and... Alright, how do I... I can pickpocket him. I can't... I can't knock him out, though? What? I was weak. Alright, you know what? I must be ever vigilant Sometimes against you the just outsider. gotta blast the man with a sleeping dart. Huh? Huh? That guy is... For are we not as oh, and now I can carry... Whatever. Alright, we'll leave him there. And this... Oh, God. This guy... <clears throat> we will... Can I blink over there? Like, past him? Nope, that's right in front of him. That's bad. Maybe he just won't see me if I go like... Oh, come on, come on. Like... Shoop! <laughs> gotcha! Shh, shh, shh. It'll be okay. Carry him. Dump his butt right here. Then, they will rise up among you like a virulent more, swarm, huh? devouring everything wherever they go, even filth. Cool. Um, let's set him here very nicely, or we'll do that. Oh, look at these guys. Take that. My mother was so devout. The strictures gave her comfort. Got some coins. All right. Now we can actually explore. Holy crap. Remember the seven strictures, especially errant mind, rampant hunger, lying tongue. I got a clue? Vice Overseer Burn, note mention, Errant Mind, Rampant Hunger, Lying Tongue. Errant Mind is Stricture 7, Rampant Hunger is Stricture 5, and Lying Tongue is Stricture 2. 752. Ah, uh, is that a code? For something? Excerpt from a longer work. Throughout the natural world, there are ripples that we can barely perceive with our senses. An ancient music permeating everything as fundamental structural rule. Through it, you can work wonders without violating the natural world or begging favors from unfriendly spirits. Throughout my studies, I found a 17-note scale derived from this phenomenon, and with the right equipment, those notes allow for astonishing effects. Not the least of these is the ability to calm the turbulence originating from the void, which we attribute to the outsider. Yeah, so I was right. It's the music boxes from the first one that make it so I can't blink or use my powers or... Great. I imagine those will show up later in the game. I do remember those levels, and they sucked. Nothing. Got a typewriter. Some more books. Vice Overseer's Predicate Vice Logic. Vice Overseer Liam Byrne. What's well, mine now? Hey, hey, hey. All right, I need to find the guy who I think is upstairs, but there's so much to explore here. Probably gonna have to cut the footage in half where I got booted to make two episodes. That's fine. You'll get over it. You know what I just realized, too? That damn painting. I wonder if there are any paintings back in the Bloodfly building. Oh, no. This place, Karnaka, I weep for it. You and me both, what lady. What are you prepared to do to save it? So everything's over here, huh? The Vice Overseer's room. Oh my god. Okay. Great. Is there anyone actually in there? No, but they are above. Oh, this is the room that just connects to here. Okay. Surround your innermost being with these strictures and you will be safe. The seven strictures are our core principles, taught and reinforced by overseer across the aisles. From these principles stem all manner of rules, social codes, and beliefs about the cosmos. One, wandering gaze. Two, lying tongue. 
three restless hands, four roving feet, five rampant hunger, six wanton flesh, seven errant mind. All these behaviors must be restricted in order to keep one's heart free from malevolent influences. They are the inroads of the outsider. All right, and my reward for learning about the seven strictures? Hacking this safe. If I can remember the right order. Seven, two, five, seven, five, two, something like that. Seven, five, two. All right, seven, five, two is the way to go. So we'll go seven. Five. And all the way back to two. Damn. Here we go. Raw whalebone. Yo. And a bunch of ingots. I'll take it. Cool. All right. So this guy right here, he was just like an overseer, way. right? He wasn't like burn or someone, right? He was just at his desk. Let's take this while we're here. Esteemed High Overseer Kulan. Oh, there's a different one in charge now. Guess that's what happens when you take out the last one. I hope you're in good health and not too nostalgic for way gone, which I'm told is striking this time of year. Forgive my stream of letters, but our problems in Sakonos are significant. Any insights you can offer would be welcome. Duke Abel is a travesty, openly disdainful for the Abbey, and yet I must maintain relations with him for the welfare of this nation. You've been called a unifier, something the Abbey greatly needed after the horrors of the Rat Plague, so your guidance would be of value. Under the Duke, the streets here are overrun with cutthroats. Paolo and his gang grow bolder every day. Lastly, my recent correspondence with our oracular sisters has been troubling. Their responses have arrived after a marked delay, and their recent proclamations possess an unusual cadence. Yours faithfully, Vice Admiral. Okay, so again, this is just at the desk. I didn't knock out the Vice Overseer. I hope. All right, reports from the Oracle. Sister Allison, Recorder of Proceedings, also present Sister Anne, Sister Margaret, and Sister Tabitha. The following is the true and complete transcript of the utterings of Sister Anne, Oracle. More incense, please. Yes, the past and the future meld. I'm without body. Dust all about me, so thick my vision falters. It is greed in palpable form, hiding a thousand evils. Oh, look, my sisters. Heresy! Ten, no, twenty wretches, servants of the void, vile worshippers of the outsider. They are assembled there this very moment, in a hidden alley, the ground slick with fishmongers' detritus, in the heart of the dust district. I am moving on now. Still wrapped in dust, nearly blinded, yet I sense something. Other blasphemies hide nearby, a strange taste in my mouth. What is this? And here there was a pause so long that Sister Tabitha finally broke the silence. My sister, has your vision ceased? Or if not, what do you observe? And Sister Anne answered thusly, I have a message for the Vice Overseer. Tell Byrne to end this needless meddling into the conservatory. And now... Sister Anne will be needing some rest. And thus ended the session. What? Did something take her over at the end? What was it? Oh, also. Fire hardened treatment. That's interesting. So, maybe it was the outsider that reached out to her? I don't know. Also, these are the other masks from, um... That's from Dunwall. Ah, oh, man, okay. That's cool. I like how they're connecting all the lore from the different regions. Mm, let's do this. We got a book here. All right. On the Oracular Order. Oh, perfect. Much has been said about the blind sisters of the Oracular Order. In truth, their eyes function just as well as yours or mine. However, they do endeavor to become blind to distractions and frivolities. They will, if necessity binds them, walk among us, wearing richly hued blindfolds or otherwise covering their eyes. In this way, they remain at all times ready to see things clearly. Decisions are made during cloistered gatherings, though no others are permitted to observe. The process was described to me, so I render it here with permission. A room is prepared with heavy incense and blessings from the strictures. In a circle sit thirty or more sisters of our order until the room is brimming. We will hear no topic lest we have each had adequate time to research. 
Several outcomes will be discussed, and some sisters are specifically tasked with advancing less popular or unlikely scenarios. It is not permitted to remain silent. Every voice must be heard. It may take some time to arrive at a decision, and by then all are quite versed in the myriad consequences and may have lengthy advice for all contingencies. When an opinion is written, it may be as short as a sentence or fill 20 pages, yet still one last sister must approve it. The High Oracle herself. Alright, so that's that dude. That's that book. There's a book over here. Litany on the White Cliff. And I say to you, brothers, it is here that we make our stand as a righteous force against the growing darkness. It is here that we unite against the spirits of the unknown that would drag us screaming into the night, never to return to our homes, to our families. Together we serve as a rod to those who would stray from the herd for the foggy gray wastes of the outsider. We will burn a bright fire with our virtuous actions so that others will not lose their way. And those who choose to wander beyond the walls of our homes in far places, we will strike them swiftly before they whisper to their neighbors, filling their hearts with strangeness and doubt. AKA let's torture, kill, and burn some people at the stake. Gotcha. Uh, let's go down first. Before we head up, yeah? There is a bone charm, but there's also a map. Rooftop closed, holding, vice overseer. Huh, okay. And then here, oh my god, two books. The Abbey of the Everman is the seat of religious power and inspiration for all overseers across the Empire. The order arose over the years to protect the common people from the ravages of the outsider until the need for a central bastion of authority was deemed necessary. This imposing structure is a destination for pilgrims seeking refuge or guidance. Many mistakenly attribute the Abbey's construction to High Overseer Benjamin Holger when it was actually Holger's successor John Clavering who laid the foundation. Shortly after the Abbey was completed, every overseer in the land gathered there and began a trek to Whitecliff. There, a great siege commenced as the overseers purged the region. The battle raged against heretics, witches, and thralls of the outsider. Though Holger was killed in the struggle, Whitecliff was cleansed and the ceremonial rites that followed lasted for a month, giving birth to many invocations and speeches which were inscribed in tomes and carried back to the abbey where they are still revered today. And as we found out in the first game, that's where they take young kids and stuff to sort of brainwash them into the Abbey. So if you haven't picked up on it by now, these guys are bad people. I can't figure out if this is the book I just read a little bit ago or if this is a new one. Nope, it's the one I've read before. Okay, well let's go downstairs because is that a painting or is that just another map? Where was that, uh, is this? That's not what I wanted. How about that? Where's the, where's the stuff I really wanted, though? There's a wall I can't get through. Yeah, that's not a... Ah, uh, I thought that was a painting. Who I say. So those guys are outside canceling the food ticket program. But... Can I mess with stuff in here? Is there... Guess I could try and take this. Let's see if there's anything else before I... Start smashing glass around here. Hold on. Good. Ain't nobody heard nothing. Can I go in the restroom? I can. I can. I did. It's a magical toilet is what that is. Is there anything even in here? Just a knocked out man. Okay, so there's the bone charm is upstairs. There's another map. There's a bone charm right up there. Long and friendless and hunted like a beast. Yet still you act with honor. Thank you, that's what I've been trying to do. She gets me. What's up there? Oh god. Okay. 
All right. This heretic's body is important. Even though I don't fully understand the situation. We'll wait for the Vice Overseer. When should Byrne arrive? He's engaged currently. He'll send someone else. Maybe Overseer Kendana. Until then, we stay where we are. Won't the heretic's corpse attract blood flies, brother? No, I've dusted it already. We should be fine here for now. But mark me, anyone who shows up here has ill will at heart. There are no coincidences in Karnaka. I don't know. I don't have ill will. I'm just helping out a friend I just made. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, oh, okay. Live your life, man. Live your life. I'm gonna switch up to this. Hello? Get out of town. Get out of town. What? what? There's nothing even happening, dude. Nothing even happening. Whatever. Yeah, whatever's right. Whatever's right. Okay. So that guy's right there. And he's gonna stare right ahead. You're a dick. You know that? You're a dick. Ah, there we go, you big dumb dumb. Oh, come on! There's only one way to get the Abbey. Never man, and these people got to listen, they never do. It drives me mad. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. The other dude doesn't see. We're still good. Gonna take this guy and move him over here. Take him over this way. Put him over in this thing. Damn right. Great. Set his ass right here. Good. Can't take that, even though I want to. We got uh, some stuff over there. Ooh. An alarm clock? What? Why is it like, use this alarm clock? It might come in handy. Oh my god, a banana. And rats. I'm sure I want to eat that banana now. Alright, um... Funny stories from Sarkonos. Uh-oh. This guy reading secret books? Early one morning near dawn, Makolo's wife hears a knock at the door. It's one of Makolo's friends. Where's my husband, she asks. He was supposed to be with you, picking up a case of Orban rum. I'm sorry, says Makolo's friend, but something terrible happened at the distillery. Makolo toppled headfirst into a barrel of rum and drowned. So the wife starts blubbering. Oh, my love, he's gone. At least tell me it was a quick death. I can't lie, says Makolo's friend. He got out three times to take a piss. <laughs> also, that goes against their teachings, which I find funny. Remember how I could get an ability to become a rat? Look at that. Or, no, it wasn't become a rat. It was to control a rat. Oh, shapoopy shabooby. Hold the phone. Possession. Is there a uh, possess a rat ability? Stealth and in behind small places. Right there. Well, crap. Let's focus on that. That'll be the next thing to focus on. this one. Selected sayings of the Overseer. Let not the eyes linger upon pretty things. Better to pluck them out than to rest them long on temptations. One heretical thought leads inevitably to more, as a single errant weed soon overtakes the field of wheat. Know this. There is only one path. It is the job of the outsider to convince you there are many. The duty of the tongue is to speak the seven strictures. All elf is heresy. Can, couldn't even speak that. I couldn't even speak that part. All elf is heresy. Burn the non-believers from your midst, for they are a blight upon the earth. Yeah, they do plenty of that. These are among the guises of the outsider, the orphan with outstretched hand, the strumpet with luscious words, the scholar with copious tomes. The heretic cannot be redeemed except by oil and flame. 
Beware the starving hordes, for they hunger for more than sustenance. In spirit, they are destitute. In judgment, they are lacking. Live in silence, for a single untruth or misspoken word can lead to ruin many times its magnitude. Do not accept the invitation of the outsider. The drink he offers is poison, and on his hearth, death simmers. Too late for me, then. Okay, uh, let's keyhole our way into here. What do we got? Ooh, shit. So what about this guy? Oh, he's looking the other way. Oh, you big dummy. Oh, you big dum dum. Yeah. Gotcha. That's Mindy Blanchard. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, wow. They were filming it, too? Okay, let's uh put this guy right here. Set him down. Excerpt from Overseer Interrogation Report. Brother Bernardus, where'd you find those drawings? Accused. I made them. As I said, I'm an artist. Mostly newspaper advertisements. Brother Bernardus. These don't look like advertisements. They look like heretic nonsense intended to make your neighbor sick or bring back a loved one. Accused. Nothing will dissuade you of these notions, I'm sure. So instead of wasting my breath, I'll give you some advice. Take a bath once in a while, overseer, and invest in some scented soap, unless that's against one of the strictures. Conclusion. Apparently the accused suffered from a weakened heart, dying during the interrogation without providing anything further. His apartment on the canal should be searched for items or drawings of a profane nature. Okay, well I know where we're going. Uh, at some point, to this guy's apartment, because I bet there's a painting or something in there to take, and maybe some lore, so we're doing all of that. I really need to invest in bigger pockets. I just want to take this stuff so I can like, I don't know, I just want it. <laughs> Bone charms over there. And this is gonna be how I get outside, maybe? Oh boy. Oh boy, and then there's the rooftop. There's no one up there. But we're definitely gonna go up and look and see what's up here. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm aware. Heed and grown bold by these times. I shall not abide the football of a blasphemous wanderer. What the hell? Where's this guy at? Way over there, huh? Oh, there's two of them. Shut up. Okay. Still no word from our sisters. Strange. Yeah, that's because they're getting possessed and shit over there. Uh, let's go back down and we will deal with this first before I take on two guys upstairs. I'm sure, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Nice. That's it. The body Mindy sent me after. Get to him in a second. I need those sleeping darts to hit those guys upstairs. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Secret date. Amadio, meet me in our usual place tomorrow night. Be sure to bring the drawings we talked about. M. Like, Mindy M? Is that why we're doing this? Witch's skin. They probably should ask him about this shit, because this is this is the real secret. Duelist luck. Oh, witch's skin. Here we go. When taking damage, your mana is drained before your health. Your mana doesn't regenerate. Ay 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 ay. Um. The whole point is I shouldn't be taking damage. So I'm not. I have no reason to use that for now but we'll hold on to it okay so I need to get this guy damn do this. beat up I need to get him where to the look at this room they just be hanging people in here I need to get him to a dentist's office nearby so she's down there he has a dead body I mean I could just chuck him out the window What's the worst that could happen, right? But let's instead go up. And we'll three. We'll take these dudes out and we'll see if we can cross the roof with him. That's the plan anyway. We'll see what happens. Oh, 
All right. So this guy. Huh? On him. One more bullet left for his friend, who is a big dummy, who is just sitting right there, who I'm going to get unless he turns around and then yeah. Too late, asshole. Oh, then we're going to set him right here because I'm a nice guy like that. And eat the apple. Oh, God, so good. Also, these things, horrifying. Still horrifying. Pistol bullets I can't use. All right, I guess, well, we can try and jump up here. And, oh, I could have, like, gone in through this way. Oh, this game offers so many ways to do things. <laughs> Let's do this. Somewhere in Oklahoma is beating a servant. He is but a boy. The beating will leave him lie. He was late with the tea. Why you gotta tell me stuff like that? When others might choose to draw blood, you find another way. This, I think, is my highest praise. Thank you. Thank you, my love. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's go back this way and grab this guy. <laughs> Looks like he's in a barbershop quartet. I don't die my Coney Island. Don't die my Coney Island. Looks like I died my Coney Island, babe. Looks like he died at Coney Island, babe. All right, so I don't want to throw him over there. But... Now why did I... No clue why I did that. So I need to get down to there. Or I need to go like this. Oh. Well, that's amazing. Is this a penny I can take? No, but the shit? The hell kind of painting is... What is this of... Sir Conan Legends, the Moth King. What? That guy is creepy as balls. The hell kind of Moth King? Hello, are you? Do you live here? What the hell kind of creepy ass room is this? There's really nothing here, but it's super weird. Like heads? Just heads? At first I thought it might be the artist's place, but that looks like dental equipment? What is happening here? Crazy pictures of the Moth King. Uh... Dear Emilio, I know what you'll say, but inside I'm dead already anyway, so I have to try. I sought out the old witch, and she said it wasn't too late to cheat death. I gave her all my coins for a spell to bring back my poor Lisbet, who was as happy as a gull one minute, the next dead and cold. Here, I write the awful spell the woman gave me. Only for Lisbeth's sake do I dare attempt it. Four fingers, two fresh from you, and two cold and stiff from your departed dear. Placed in a copper pot with whale's blood and the herbals I give ye. Boil it all while you speak the word reverse until ye can speak it no more. Emilio, if you don't hear again from me, it means that all hope is lost. So it didn't work and he killed himself? Apparently. Or someone killed him. Because something ain't right with this room. I can't put my finger on it yet. Sure, Cox reporting for duty. Also, you should probably turn that off. But, uh, what is... We must collect evidence, of course. Oh, look at the body! All ten fingers. This was straight up a murder! Wha okay, okay. 
Look for them clues, Cox. Look for them clues. Definitely creepy and weird, this room here. But other than that, I mean, there's two of the dude's fingers. But really, I don't think we're ever getting an answer here, except this guy was murdered. Maybe it's back in this room a clue? I feel like this is just a set piece that I'm looking way into it, but come on. It's cool. It's a cool set piece. All right, Barbershop Bill. I don't think we're going to find anything in here. Although one more look couldn't hurt. Just the two of them. Well, seems like this is connected to the dentist in some way. Um, let's go down to here. Yeah. And then we'll do this. And then I need to get still underneath me. See if she can help. Without being detected by no. singers and songwriters and all sorts of stuff. What? Nothing. Oh, come on. That's bullshit. Everything's fine. I'm getting stuck on a tooth. Nothing's going on. So let's see. What was it? We're playing dice tonight. I thought I saw someone right here. Oh my let's check god, ma'am. Just in case, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm gonna need you to stop moving forward. That's right, get stuck on a wall. That's right. Man, walls are hard. I wonder who that was. Nobody, it's no one. <sighs> That's right. Something feels wrong. Yes, like your inability to move forward. Oh my god, there's two guards now? Maybe turn around, maybe turn around, maybe turn around, maybe turn around. Nothing. What the? Stop! Huh? Ow, ow, what the shit? Go down! Okay, she's down. It's not right, but that's the shit that happens. Okay, well. <laughs> yep. Alrighty. Let's, uh, go, go here and... See this young lady. Hey. Hey, you got him. Put it down in the hall. Good job. Take this. You said you had a trick for getting closer to Adamir. I just sent one of my boys to turn off the power to the carriage rails. When the juice is off, you can walk along the rails and get where you need to go. On the other side, there's a station that will take you to Adermeyer. All right, then. This is goodbye. But who are you exactly? So now you've been paid, hit the road. Yeah, but... Boy, would I love to know more about you as a character. What? Is this the place you just bury bodies? There's more bodies back... Oh, my God! Lady, you trouble. I like you though, I'm not even gonna lie. Sitting here drinking mead and burying bodies. Okay, anything else? Stay on the good side of the howlers, my friend. We're moving up in Karnaka. Going to run this place someday. Okay, so I knocked that guy out, but she has nothing. Elite guard, God help me. What happened here? Help me. Someone, anyone, what's going on here? Oh my god! All right. How many more people do I have to knock out? There. Pick this guy up. I guess they could spot him. Put him back there. Holy moly. UFO commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future. Where everyone talks like they're from the future. UFO commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future. Where everyone talks like they're from the future. Hello, Arrows 4. Me, Jessica, the number one out of the plan. The bees, please, the tip top shape, I'm swell shape. And I'm the 
like a fortune for my last four moves. Shut the balls up! UFO commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future. Everyone talks like they're from. Shut the balls up! UFO commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future. Everyone talks like they're from. Shut the balls up! Give me that! No! 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 <laughs>